Hi, I'm Kat, and today I'm going to talk you through creating a business listing page on the All About Fittinga website. Before you get started though, it's a really good idea to have a good look around the site and decide on the best place for your listing. So let's take a look. We'll take a quick look at our local businesses in the support local area. You can see there are a number of different categories where you can list your business. Have a look around and see what other listings look like and where you might best fit. Let's view a plumbing page as an example. We have clicked through to this landing page which shows all the plumbers. Clicking on one of them will take us through to their listing page. Here's a standard listing page. Have a look at the type of information on some of the pages. Think about what you would like to communicate to your customers or what information they may be looking for. Hero shots or photos showing off your work are great. Comments or reviews from past clients will help support your page too. Let's get started. The first thing to do is to click on the green Get Listed button at the top right hand side of the screen. This will take you to the login screen where you'll enter your username and password. If you don't already have a login, you'll need to set one up by clicking on the sign up button and following the instructions. Once you are logged in, you'll be taken to the Add Your Own Page screen. If you're not on this screen, then just click again on the Get Listed button. Today, I'm going to set up a page for Tim's training team. I've had a good look around the site and decided the best place for it to sit is in the Trades and Services section and then education and training. First thing you need to do is enter your listing title. That is the name of your business. Then enter your contact name, email address, and phone numbers. If you don't have the information, just leave the area blank. If you're not sure what to type, just hover over the little I next to the label. If you have a free phone number, you can enter that in the box and then your website address. Next, enter your business address. You can click on the Map It button to check the location on the map. You can drag the marker to fine tune the location if you need to. Enter your area and then your postcode. If you're not sure of your postcode, just leave it out. The next section looks at the hours your business is open. First, click the boxes that are applicable for your business. Tim has decided that he will open on weekends if it is pre-arranged, so we'll click on the weekends by appointment box. Next, we will add the hours for the other days. Click on the period plus button. I find it easier to click on the number of times I need and then arrange all the details. It doesn't matter what order you do them in, they will automatically sort on your page. Next, put in your opening hours and closing times. Tim has decided that he's going to do a late night on Thursday, so we've added those hours too. He's going to close in between, so we need to add it separately. He's going to open again between 5 and 8 p.m. This function is quite handy, especially for businesses that have different shifts. Here's what it looks like on a live page. You can see that this restaurant opens for dinner between 5 and 9 p.m., but also opens for lunch between 11 and 2 p.m. When you load it, you have to put each day and time slot in separately, but this is what the page will look like. Right, let's go back to our listing page. The next section here is specifically for any special instructions or information that you would like to show in regards to COVID if your area is in lockdown. For example, click and collect instructions or changes to your services. This section will be turned on and off by the All About Fit Younger team depending on the current alert level. 
Next, click on the areas that your business services or would like to service. In the related links box, you can provide a link on your page to another listing page that you own or a business that you work with and recommend. Just start typing the name in the box and then select it. The social media section provides space for you to link all the popular social media sites. Just locate your social media page, then copy and paste the URL link into the box. We will have a quick look at a Facebook page. Go up the top to the URL, highlight it, copy the address, and then paste it into the appropriate box. The useful tip or notice banner box will be highlighted blue on your page and will stand out. So it's an opportunity to highlight something about your business. Maybe your friendly team. Or maybe your late night. Next, you'll want to write a couple of sentences that are going to grab your customer's attention. This will go in the summary box. It will show in a larger and eye-catching font on your page. In the description, you will write the greater part of information about your business. We will start with a heading by clicking on the drop-down box. This heading will actually show as black capitals on your page. Next, you'll put lots of information about your business. Think about your staff, experiences, services you offer, and the unique things about your business. It's a good idea to use headings to break up sections of text. Use keywords in your headings. Bullet points are great for listing services and to break up the look of the page. Just click on the editing toolbar to select the different styles. A quote from you, a staff member or a customer is nice to add if you have it. You can make this stand out by using the quotation marks. Remember, you can use the editing tools to highlight other important information. The listing page setup screen here will time out after 90 minutes of being open. So you're not disappointed, make sure you save regularly throughout the process and then re-enter the page via the edit function. I will show you how to do this shortly. We have come to the end of the written part of your listing page. Don't forget to go back, read over it, proofread it, make sure it all sounds good. The next part will be to load your images. We can do this once you have confirmed and completed your listing. Tick the I'm not a robot box, follow the instructions, click next and then confirm your listing. You'll be taken to the payment screen. Click on the bank button and then continue. The All About Fitting the Terms of Service can be found here or by clicking on the link. Once you've read and are happy, click on the Place Order button. We are nearly there. Your listing page has now been sent for checking and approval by the All About Fitting team. They will look over and tweak the layout, format and headings if needed so that your page will work well for you. You can see what you have entered on the page by clicking on the blue link. You will notice the red Pending Moderation box at the top. At the moment, only you and the All About Fitting team can see your listing. Often, when you look over your listing, you will notice something you would like to change. You can do this by clicking on the cog wheel on the top left-hand side and then Edit Listing. We are taken back to the Edit screen and can change any of the details we previously entered. We are going to take out the white space that was showing under the first heading. I'm just going to delete it and then press confirm. To view the listing again, just click on the go to listing button. You'll see that the white space has gone. This is as far as we will go in today's video. The next step will be to add images or media, videos and PDF documents to your listing page. This is not difficult, however for step by step instructions, tips and tricks, you may want to take a look at the second part of our tutorial video.